imagine that you're flying in a plane. Beautiful skies, amazing views. But how do you know where to go? There aren't any signs floating in the air, right? So how do pilots know where to land their planes? Would you like to find out? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I would. In this lab, we're going to be learning about the invisible lines that help us navigate the world. Longitude and latitude. This is a compass. It can tell you which direction you are traveling. North, east, south, west. A good way to remember is to remember the saying, never eat soggy waffles. But just knowing which direction you're going isn't enough to pinpoint a specific place. Look here. Let's say we're here and we want to go to that spot right there. We know we're going east, but how far east? Where do I stop? Is it southeast, northeast? Now imagine you were up in the air and you wanted to find this point. How would you be able to see it? Yeah, uh, I'm not seeing any dots up here. That's right. Well, we can help him by drawing some lines to really find that point. Can you picture these lines running all around the Earth? These are called lines of longitude, and they run north and south. But that's not what they're there for. Hi, Dr. Nagler. It took me all night, but I finally finished hand-making that globe you wanted. Excellent. Looks good. Especially the lines. What do you think these longitude lines tell us? Well, imagine if you could cut through one. Why well, imagine? Let's do it! <laughs> You cut through my globe. Of course I did. And it cut very nicely. You see, longitude lines run north to south, but they separate east and west. To help identify these lines, we number them. This line is zero degrees longitude, also known as the prime meridian. Degrees in this case isn't temperature, it's a unit of measure that we tell how far away from the center we are. So we start with zero degrees and we move away from the center. So this line would be 10 degrees and this one would be 20 degrees and so on. And also notice on the other side of zero, the same thing happens, 10 degrees and 20 degrees. And the way we label these is which side of zero is east and west. And you'll notice that this point is 10 degrees east and this one is 10 degrees west. So here is our point at 30 degrees east. But is that enough to land our plane? What do you think? Okay, I'm flying on that longitude, but I, I don't see the runway. That that's not enough information. That's right. You need to know where on the line our point is. Is it down here, up here? We need lines going the other way to intersect our lines of longitude. So the longitude lines separate east and west. What do you think these lines will do? Okay, Dr. Nagler, I was able to make one more globe. Please be careful with this one. Of course I will. I have safety glasses on. I need a new job. You see, I cut laterally to create latitude lines. These lines go from east to west, but they separate north and south. These two halves are called hemispheres, which means half a sphere or half a globe, north and south. Just like the longitude lines, latitude lines are numbered beginning with zero degrees in the center. This is called the equator. Let's label these lines as we did before, starting with zero degrees equator and going 10 degrees north and 10 degrees south, away from zero. 
Now, let's see where our point is. The latitude lines have intersected our longitude lines right at our point. Now we have two lines that cross, and X marks the spot. Our point is 20 degrees north and 30 degrees east. These two numbers are called coordinates. Will that be enough to land the plane? Okay, I, I see it, I see the runway. So did you learn anything useful today? Yes, I did. I learned that it takes two coordinates to find yourself on the globe. Longitude and latitude. That's right. Latitude and longitude are invisible lines used for navigation that intersect at specific points. What else did we learn? I learned not to give you the keys to the chainsaw. <laughs> That's not all. Didn't we learn what the two halves of the globe are called? Hemispheres. And what does hemisphere mean? H half. Half of a globe. That's right. And remember, the point where the hemispheres meet is labeled zero degrees, and we start numbering there in both directions. Now that we've learned how longitude and latitude work, you're going to find some points on the globe yourself.